Oh, thanks. I appreciate that, Ruby. Hello, Senior Officer Kim McNulty, the LSPD. How are we doing? <laughs> Wanna give me some fish and chips? Good. Oh. Don't do that for me. I think it might be time for a rebirth. Uh, Ruby, howdy. Hi. Hi. So I spoke with Avery Stone, who has, and also there's a, a Leon Cassidy. Uh, I have not spoken with Cassidy yet. I've spoken with um, Avery. And um, if I'll leave it up to y'all as far as seniors, if you feel like she's ready for FTO, if you want to propose maybe she rides with somebody else as an FTO or one of you to feel like she's ready or okay. to give her the cert right away, I'm delegating that responsibility to you, McNulty, and Bones. Okay. I like it. So you said Cassidy and Stone? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, so I might if, uh, grab... If, they, if they're both good, uh, come up to me and just say, hey, those two, we want them as FTOs. Thumbs okay. up. Okay. Okay, I like it. I'll get them to ride with one of us. Okay, sounds good. All right, let me know. Okay. All right. Hey, Captain. Yeah. You, you're doing a good job, okay? <laughs> Even with all the mess, you're doing a good job. Ah, oh, thanks. I appreciate that, Ruby. Okay. And you as well. You're thank, thank you for helping out you. all the time. You've been a pillar. Somebody I can lean okay. on. Good, good. That's good. All right. Thanks, Cap. Have it help. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. What the hell is that horn, Conwood? Wait, what? I didn't... Wait. How is that supposed to alert anyone? I have no idea. Trying to, trying to be assertive, tell that guy to f*** off, and this is what comes out. Yeah, hell, this wasn't my car. It was given to me, so... Then, uh... I'd get to work, and I'd start putting together $100,000 and I put that sh in the uh... Howdy! I only need the expungement if I can't get the felonies off. Oh, you gotta be sh Hold on, I gotta go. I'm getting pulled over. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Have a good one. Kill him. Hello, Senior Officer Kim McNulty, the LSPD. How we doing? Howdy. <laughs> Horn what? McNulty, how's it going? You were going 40 miles per hour through a red. Well, I was going slow. Yeah. That, technically speaking, you're technically wearing part of a uniform right now. Oh, well, actually, no, I'm not because this is not issued by Which us. is impersonating an officer. <laughs> How you doing, brother? You good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I was pretty frustrated by by how that whole thing was handled, but I'm good. That's good. Yeah. Like I like I said, remember what I said, brother. I, all I want out of that is proper communication. Whatever you're feeling towards anybody, put it in the f bin. Yeah. Because the way I just, that I see it, what's what's more important is what's happening out here than what's happening in there. Yeah. That see that's and that's what my whole point has been. And I go and I talk to people about it. To, to, to them specifically, directly, I go talk to them about it, and it gets ignored, right? And then what ends up happening is it turns into this game of telephone where, hey, Corwood said this about that guy. See, or, and that's going forward. Instead, get everybody in the room. Everybody. Yeah, I'm. Well, that's that's got to be the only thing. The only problem is when it comes to the captains, it's about you know three times a year where they're all in the same room. Unfortunately, well, but, my yeah. my point was, if I have a problem with the captain, I will go to that captain and say it to their face. Yeah, and I've, and I've done the same that, that, thing. It's gotten me. That dead. is the only. That is the only. Way. <laughs> kind of crazy how that works, right? <laughs> the only the only captain I ever talked to when there was an issue, and they ended up dapping themselves as slacks. And I told him, "Don't dap yourself. Why are you dapping yourself? You just you just learn and move on. Why are you dapping yourself?" Oops. Yeah, I mean. Sup, cuz? Probably 276 grocery. <laughs> what up, like, eh? like saying cuz, yeah, same thing. What up, cuz, eh? Hey, what's good, eh? What's up, cuzzy, bro? Hey, what's wanna going go, on? I'm gonna go down the corner, give me some fish and wanna chips. Wanna go? <laughs> you want some <laughs> fish and chips? Wanna go get the coolie, eh? Can, you, can, can we have, like, a... Can we have a vote for Ruby to just talk like that now? Like, all nah, that? bro. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Ma'am, can you say I... sheesh for us? No, well, I could. Do you want me to speak native? Uh... Tena kota katua. I'm sorry. What does that native mean? Native what? I can't hear you, Ruby. Guys, speak out. I uh, say tena kota katua. Bless you. What language is that? Maori. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna try to get pardoned and uh, you know move on with my life. Yeah, yeah, that'd be uh, that'd be your best bet. Hey, let me tell you, if you need a. 
uh, any sort of statement. I, I wouldn't, I, I don't know what the hell to call it. Not necessarily character witness. I could do that. But uh, some kind of a... Uh, you want to do that for me? Yeah, hell, we've been in business together, Mr. K. Oh, my God. I mean, there was that one time you got involved in that robbery. How's that but I don't know. Shit, I have no idea how the hell so oh, yeah, muscular you are. Yeah, why the hell do they do that? I don't know why the hell you get involved. You got, you got to be careful who you're friends with. You know? Yeah, you're right. Bad influences. You're right. All right, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. I'll probably talk to Dab today and see what we can go. I, I didn't that think was it was right. That was my clean record right there. They turned me into a fucking criminal. Yeah. They made me this. Well, well, here's the thing. It don't mean you can't turn your life around, right? I mean, it's... it's. What's the point, huh? You want to fucking raise a hundred grand, huh? For what? What? For I didn't even do? Mr. K, look, you have every opportunity you know, in the world. You know how to get hundred grand? Oh hell, I, I know. I, I, you know, I gave damn near two hundred thousand dollars. I think one hundred seventy some odd thousand dollars to the to the police department because uh, we didn't have no budget. And so then I, they spit in your face. And then they spit in your face. Yeah, I was I was pretty miffed by that. But uh, you know, I, I I haven't necessarily buried the hatchet, but at the same time, I put the hatchet down I, and, and and had some words and some discussions to kind of clear clear the air a little bit. I didn't like how that whole situation was approached, but uh. So you you get your job back or what? Oh uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I want to go back. Yeah, what you gonna do? I don't know. Shit, I'm 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 in a situation now where I, I walked into that thing and I said, you know what? I've been having a damn good time being a lawyer. And it's opened my eyes. Really, it has. You, you should get some real estate up in Sandy Shores, man. Make that place yours. You would fit right in. Yeah, Find I mean, a little community up there. Hey, hell, that's what I want to do. I, I want to open up the Little Alamo. You know, I mean, yeah. we, we we go up there north to Little Texas, open up the Little Alamo Sheriff's Office, and get you a nice box or something. Yeah, yeah. I think it'd be great. Yeah. But uh, but shit, nice man, it was chopper. just one of the things. Yeah, that'd be damn good. Give me a get hog. Some nice chaps on assless chaps. Uh huh. Wait. Uh-huh. Wait, no, not, yeah. not assless. Maybe I could ride behind you on that bike. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, Mr. Kai, I I, I wouldn't want assless chaps. Why? A lot, a lot better. It keeps it nice and cool. Well, no, because when you, you no, because then my giblets are going to be hanging out. Yeah, but then your ass is going to get all sweaty on the seat. Yeah, and it's leather, and that leather is going to just get up on the crawl. It, it ain't going to be good. Ah, you gotta grip to it better. Your cheeks are gonna like grip this in. Um, hey, not if you got some swamp ass going. You're gonna end up having swamp seat. The hell am I be ocean ass? Oh, yeah, with you, we're talking about you. Yeah, actually, probably ocean ass. Yeah, it won't be no good at all. Hey, listen, if you wanna go, when you, when the time comes that you wanna go ahead and sign in, Dave and I can be there with you. We got your back. Your family's a lot bigger than you think it is, Cornwood. There's a lot of people, not in an adoption fraud kind of way, but in a, in a Christian way. Mm -hmm. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ. Yeah. Uh, I, I remember being baptized. In Christ. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hell, yeah, it might be time for a rebirth here. Couldn't agree mm. more. Uh huh. I think it might be time for a rebirth, possibly in about three hours. But right now, I think we need to get our ass right out now? there and, and I should go get signed in. Let's do it. I told you we'll be there with you if you wanted the support. We got your back. All right. Let's do it. Let's go out there and get some shit done.